Hi guys, what's poppin'? Sweet Stripes here, back with another episode. And as you can see right now, I'm gonna be showing you guys um, some Last Day on Earth gameplay to spice things up on the channel. So actually, if you guys haven't known already, Last Day on Earth got an update. In fact, as the thumbnail suggested, uh, pretty juicy update. There was Raiders introduced, and I'll tell you all about that um, pretty soon. But right now, we're going to have to deal with this uh, zombie here. I have a pretty good trick for all y'all uh, last day or LDOE um, users. So there's uh, there's no way to suicide yourself in the game. It's pretty easy to do that because you get the benefits of added uh, HP and water that automatically go back to 100. And in this game, you starve. And if you starve, you die. So that's obviously very good to just, um, if you're at your home and you don't want to eat carrots and like waste carrots, then you can uh, just go back, um, have the zombie kill you and all's good. So right now, I'm going to be showing you guys a trick that only uses one wood. You heard that right from your boy. Just one wood, guys. And you're going to be able to uh, keep the zombie contained so that you can uh, keep him without him like biting you when you get home all the time. Just have to position him right over the wall over here. Come on. Okay, looks like we have it in the bag, folks. Put it over this wall and hopefully the zombie... See a zombie over here? Can't do nothing. Get close to him. Whack! He's popping you minus some HPs, but other than that, guys, that's the uh, trick over there. So I'm going to be showing you all some impromptu base tours over here. Uh, I have a pretty pretty ghetto cribbo over here. But um, not too bad, in fact. I have lots of storage. Cans of beans to last me till... Uh, the year 3000 basically even though it's not going to give me the best of health uh but otherwise in that see right here have a good amount of um carrots so i'm gonna be popping over to my carrot garden make sure those plants are uh definitely on their way to um grow and split this so then i can each carrot is uh two seeds so i want the full maximum uh capabilities of that to produce itself produce itself what am i saying produce itself Okay, and then next, I have, yeah, that much, so, yeah, I just want, yeah, that's pretty good, good amount. And then, guys, as you say in my uh, inbox, I've reached a, uh, still Christmas theme, by the way, I've still reached a, uh, yeah, yeah, I got the shoddy over here. So, fortunately, I am increasing my stocks for shoddies over here, so soon enough when we get to the, uh, when I get enough bunkers, when I get enough, uh, what do you call it? Firepower to bust through the bunkers. Then I'm going to be able to uh, slowly grind them out, guys. And I'll be showing you some uh, bunker gameplay soon. If you want to comment down below and show me some love, give me some likes, and I'll make sure to reply back. Uh, yeah, first I have to grab some of the berries, actually, not the alcohol. So alcohol is also used for um, uh, bandages as you saw so you use bandages and cloth and that will give you the um results that's gonna be pretty good so then in the reps recipes over here i'm making some nails so i can get more crowbars and uh yeah one plate equals two uh times the nails just like the carrots so i obviously want as much value so i'm not gonna fill them up like to 20 because it's gonna be full and then it's just gonna waste time for me so i'm gonna pop them um, the plates back to their home little home where are they yeah, so they're back in here, and I have my storage of nails, bandages, berries, alcoholic beverages, but <laughs> never mind, it's not alcohol. What am I saying? Well, yeah, it's alcohol, but it's not for, uh, what? I'm pretty sure the description said not for consumption. <laughs> yeah, not recommended for internal use. <laughs> Kafir knows what's up. Uh, don't be ingesting that nasty stuff. So, um, once I stack away my ATV tank, oh yeah, that's full already. Almost no room in the small boxes, but fortunately just a little bit of space. Um, just so I can get the gameplay going faster, I'm not going to be using too many crowbars. I'm just going to be using the machete and the carrots and stuff just so the gameplay go faster, guys. But soon... Yeah, I have my precious metals over here, and then I have my uh, my special things. We don't know. Most of that stuff is in there is like stuff that can't be recycled, such as the uh, what you might call it, like the uh, 
oh yeah, by the way, we also have raw turkey. That's from the Christmas event. But things such as the um, bolts, not bolts, uh, watches. Yeah, watches, those things like that. Things that are from civilization, because this is set in a dystopian era where zombies rule the world. So, yeah. <laughs> zombies are taking over, and basically we have to salvage it. And so far, Kafir hasn't given too many... Um, things to use that for so see guys right now i have uh like a just a junk ton of uh stuff but right now i just have to load up give myself some more what's what am i call these things yeah ball bearings ball bearings put my uh bolts away yep bolts away and then i'm gonna be stocking my uh wood nice thick wood giggity giggity in the uh in this little nice chest over here and then once I get this uh, pr this metal over here, then we should be good. Sorry to bore y'all folks, but I'll be back soon. Hey, yo guys, so. So I'm back here, as you can see. I'm gonna be hopping back onto some juicy metal runs. So, sorry for the um, pretty fast base tour. I'm gonna be make sure to give you guys a more in-depth um, review on that later. Sorry, I can't go to the chopper event sadly because I don't have a chopper. Ugh. Struggles of a last year and a survivor, but I'm gonna be running, running real fast to this limestone cliff here. Gonna be seeing if I can snag some nice um, metals such as iron, things like that, so that I can. Uh, once again, get those furnaces, a furnace in, and start to produce some more metals for me. Because <coughs> right now I have enough metal and everything. So uh, after this, after this uh, limestone cliff cliff run, then I'm going to be, uh, oh, toxic spitter right out the gate. Wow, this guy ain't messing three toxic spitters, is he kidding me? Wow, I'm going to have to do uh, lots of dodging. Almost got all the way to... Uh, the critical um, smelly level, and that would have been no bueno, definitely. So I uh, forgot actually to equip my medicines or food. So uh, right now I'm just gonna be taking out some zombies, the just do the regular stuff like that, so I can clear out the zone and uh, clear out the enemies before. Oh, got this gray wolf here, want to uh, got get me, but. Too quick on the draw, fellow. Wow, I'm just horrible at sneaking on these fast biters. <laughs> Whatever. Shovels, shovel to the face. I don't care. Fast biter again. I was uh, horrible at snagging that deer. Deer had the uh, drop on me. But I'm going to show you how to do it here, folks, on this next one. Kapow, 78 damage. Got a... Uh, Full swipe on that fast spider before he could even touch me. So that's nice. Sneaking on this gray wolf may be... Oh, turkey. Turkey. Ah, interesting wild turkey. I'll just let you uh, live life. Uh, maybe get consumed by gray wolves in the process. Why don't you, fellow? But I don't really have any space for that wild turkey, guys. I'm going to show some mercy to the little fellow. But uh, he's not going to make it. If he uh, manages... Uh, <coughs> Surviving the gray wolves, then it's going to be the pilgrims that will take them for their Thanksgiving dinner. I don't know why I said pilgrims, but whatever. So I'm going to be sneaking into this uh, little lair here. Going to make sure if I can snag this chest real quick. And, but uh, first, I have to go through these uh, zombies here, these grotesque zombies. It's crawling. They don't have very much of existence anyway, so might as well take them out of the misery. So once again, snap. Oh, baby. <coughs> baby, not a triple. This is not good at all. So right now, guys, um, when you're cloth, you're... Oh, he got me on the jump. That's unexpected. But when your cloth is uh, smelly, then everybody can basically know that you're there. So that is uh, not good for my health bar. But hopefully I brought enough um, medicines, medicinal foods to uh, hang in there <coughs> and this is basically the same thing just taking out zombies so in last day on earth there's just like a lot of zombies it's pretty grueling it takes about 
I don't know, if you're good, probably around 10 minutes, but... Wow, these guys are just not letting me do anything here. <laughs> Gonna put on auto so I can heal back up. So auto is also pretty cool because you can just auto uh, kill anything. So you don't really have to uh, <coughs> hold there for too much. So that's actually uh, pretty nice. Pretty nice if I do say so myself. But guys, uh, thank you for sticking around with me so far. I'm gonna be popping open this chest. See what the contents are. Hopefully, I don't know, a gun? Shoddy? Oh, ATV tank. Have more of those. But uh, snag those batteries and that uh, nice uh, ducky tape. The last bastion of civilization. That ducky tape sure gonna remind me of the past. Uh, so far, duct tape is used in the... Uh, oh, goodness. Player 3001. Wow, just uh, one year off from year 3000 when I'd be still chomping on those beans. But we're gonna get out of that uh, zone right there because I didn't even have a weapon. <coughs> and I didn't want to get into a tussle with this guy. So I'm gonna pull out the OG machete and make sure I can chop out some zombies, guys. Tell you, I'll tell you all when I find the next chest. Yeah, guys, so um, I was I was actually clearing clearing out the zone, and then pops in three cavemen with spears. What in the world is this? Three survivors, but I'm be catching up to these folks. Take a gander at uh, what they've been doing. Slowly picking off these survivors. They have nothing on me. 100 HP and uh, <coughs> bringing a wooden spear to a gunfight is no bueno, guys. So I'm going to be popping off this... Uh, Okay, guys, so I'm hunting down the sole survivor of the Three Musketeers cavemen. So, uh, let's see where this guy's at. I need to take him out quick. Make sure I can chop him off. But in the process, I'll see if the survivor can come to me. But, uh, what you saw there was part of the Christmas event. And in it, you have deer that you can, uh, you can rescue from being chased by, uh, say, cavemen. And then when you save them, there's like, I think a treat or something you get. I, I think a gift. I don't know. <coughs> I think I may have gotten it already. I ha I didn't put it on a footage, but I got like a VSS. Uh, yeah, VSS. Oh, right here he is. I'm, oh, he's trailing blood. Look at him. This guy's no chance. No chance. Hey, get off my Christmas reindeer. <coughs> Slashing him down. So uh, this reindeer, what are we going to do? Is he doing anything? Oh, looks like he's running. Is he... Where is he going? Oh, he's probably going back to uh, his uh, owner. Because there's the Nick Santee, um Nick Santi location. So, that's actually pretty nice. I'm going to be uh, opening these... Uh, cracking open these ores. Nothing special, guys. I'll be with you um, very quickly. But before I do that, I'm just going to collect some uh, quick resources so I can get the pickaxe to even start this endeavor. So I got uh, three logs. That's part of the process. Then I just need to find more um, more stones and then I can make that, make that nice little thing to uh, chop down these ores. Get that good on metals. So, so far, yep, got it here pop that the craft menu so make the pickaxe that's what we doing showing you guys first i uh, i don't say that but after we deal with this roman zombie nothing on me see what he got oh, only rope should have hanged himself with that rope he had <laughs> disgusting zombie got nothing on me but for the second time for whatever yeah we got here come on game come on Oh, inventory full. Oh, yeah, it wants me to harvest it. Ah, uh, that's a nice game. Thanks, you. Thanks a lot, but... Okay, so just pop that in. So now you have three spaces in total. Nice. It's, it, it takes, like, uh... What is it? Like, five, one, two, three, four, yay! Five, call it. So three iron ore. We're gonna get a lot of these. Be with y'all soon. Yeah. Alright guys, so uh recently an AI chased us down, but I'm gonna be showing you guys the uh quick little quick little treat Nick Sandy uh gave me so you guys can see the goods. So I'm gonna be showing you guys right here. 
scrolling down, I lo got lots of big means. Even a shoddy SWAT team that was from the shipwrecked event. But, uh... Look at this. Roasted turkey, nice and cooked for my taking. And not only that, but an amazing VSS Ventura's. Just amazing. Alright guys, so just a quick update. Right now I've stored all my uh, collections that I'm going to be quicking picking up. And if you guys don't know this, there's a pretty cool thing to help ease the uh, grinding aspect of <coughs> last day. So one thing that you can do is... Like, fill your inventory with, um, like, just junk, basically. And then what you want to, uh, mine, once you filled it up, then it's just gonna collect that stuff. And then you can reload your pickaxes and whatnot when you're ready to refill them so they can continue to harvest those resources. So they'll just, like, go directly to the resources and, like, pick them. So once, like, the 20th slot is, like, fold. So that's a quick little quick little teaser for you all. Okay guys, so I'm gonna be while I'm debuting this uh, neat little trick here, I will sum up this Raider update to y'all. So the Raider update is like totally new. It's a uh, feature offset to multiplayer. It's ramping up the uh, multiplayer capabilities. Gafir is just testing it out. And uh, I think it's, yeah, it's gonna be in the game. It's gonna stay in the game. Uh, so, the Raider update is when Raiders, they, uh, they come to your house, or, your, like, your base, whatever you want to call it, and then they ask if you want to join their, like, clan, clan kind of thing, and then, uh, once they've done so, once you've accepted the offer, then they're gonna give you the coordinates to, a uh, uh, base to raid. I'm not sure if it's just an AI's base or, um... An AI's base, or what do you, what do you call it? Uh, another actual real player, non like an NPC kind of thing. So if that actually is true, it's gonna be pretty lit because multiplayer will come pretty soon. I'm assuming, uh, since they have uh, rating in place uh, with multiplayer, kind of. So they give you the coordinates. Uh, you will be able to go to the base so you can raid it. But here are the cons. First off. The raiders, once you come back with the loot, they're gonna take some of your uh, valuables. They have like a reward meter, and you just dump stuff into the to their like their inventory, and then they'll say like not good enough. And then when it actually reaches the um, their selected amount, then they're gonna be saying like a okay. So it's gonna be kind of cool with that. But they do take uh, a generous slice out of your profit. And that profit is not so easy to get. There's also C4 uh, that you can that you can actually manufacture now to be able to uh, explode through through the. Um, actually, I'm not sure if you're able to manufacture it, but I do know that you can get it in the game. I think you can also get it with um, red zones, but for the stone walls. Uh, my base doesn't have any because I'm a cheap skater and I don't want to bother upgrading them because they take forever. Uh, but they can blast through stone walls and even metal, I think. And then safe is going to be in, uh, able to be made. You can like store your valuables in there when it comes to raiding time and you probably don't have walls so that you can uh, definitely stick some the good stuff, some of the good stuff in there. But so that happens. And then there's a danger meter that happens uh, when. When you're when you're doing the when you're doing like the thing, then there's gonna be uh, a danger meter each time you open a chest, and the danger meter goes up, uh, not like double. If you open a bigger chest or something, it just goes up the same amount. But then zombies come instead of like the uh, <coughs> the owner of the base, so they come and then you have to fight them. You get the rewards though, which is good. Uh, so that's actually pretty nice. That's summing up the Raider update, and I'll just finish this zone off pretty quick. Be with you in a sec. Alright guys, so we've got all our stuff ready to get out of the zone. Uh, while we're doing so, I would like to do some brainstorming on this new uh, Ra Raider update <coughs> that Kafir has so graciously given us. Uh, 
for this uh, nice month of January. Hopefully we get another one near the end of the month, but uh, probably not. And while our nice Speedy Gonzalez character uh, runs back to the Crimbo, then uh, like for the Raider update, this probably points to like uh, better avenues. As I said before, we're getting closer multiplayer. Which is definitely good because, uh, like, raiding, trading, talking with each other, chatting, like, make, making the clans, getting oil fields. Oh, just can't wait for all that goodness. <coughs> oh, hi there, Mr. Roam Zombie. Hello, I'll just dance some circles around you with that nice, uh, nice Christmas-themed wall we have there. No electricity, but out in the hood, you don't need it. Just get that zombie juice flowing. But, yeah, pretty much this sums it up, guys. Um... In the comments below, if you have anything to say about anything, basically, I'll make sure to answer them. Get this furnace once and for all. <coughs> now you can see it. Uh, nice burning and giving off some smoke over there. Going to be popping these things back in their uh, rightful belongings. Over here with the scrap metal, our meat will be drying, getting us some nice, nice juicy, uh, what do you call them things? Uh... I forgot what those beef jerky, uh, that beef, jer beef jerky company is called, but, um, I think it's, like, Albertons or something. Uh, so, meat dryer. Oops. <laughs> Switch them up, sorry. But, uh, guys, thank you for watching Last Day on Earth. Um, I'm definitely gonna be doing more episodes, I think. Uh, probably gonna be doing, like, uh, giving some input about this game because, like, this has been pretty new. Uh, like in the channel I introduced it probably I don't know three months ago but three months ago is basically a day ago in Street Stripes because we haven't uploaded that too much sorry guys for the uh, lack of uploading I'll make sure to get back on top of that stuff uh, school and finals is just approaching and it's rearing its ugly head and I don't like that but you know I'm gonna have to eat finals and hopefully when we get that done Sweet Stripes is gonna get back on track back on track with stuff uh, of that nature, and also gonna update y'all a little bit in the avenue of Sweet Stripes and CR. So on my mini account Elixir Trade, I've gotten the uh, Ice Wizard with the super magical um, quest chest. So that was actually really lucky, and I didn't do that good in the ramp up challenge, um, sadly crying tears now but you guys can't see it but um i did get the ice which is really great so thank you all for watching and i will see you in the next one